breast cancer, it's so easy to let it steal it from you, to steal your power, but you guys have made it possible to regain that feeling back and not just have it last today, but always. I feel like this experience will always be with me. This is beyond therapeutic and empowering. It reminds you of, wow, it's not the end. This is just another phase. It's a day that I'll remember for the rest of my life, for sure. It's something that I'll hold close. You know, you really made me feel like a beautiful self. So there is life after cancer. My name is Marianne. I'm a three-time cancer survivor. I was diagnosed in 94, age 28, with Hodgkin's lymphoma. And back then, what they gave you, when talking a long time ago, you are given radiation to the mantle, to the chest. And it was kind of medieval. And I had a prophylactic splenectomy. And then after that, uh, I had a reoccurrence in 97, in my 30s. And I had treatment, I had chemotherapy. Back then, lost my hair and my eyelashes and all that. Didn't know anybody who was going through what I was going through internet wasn't around, there was no social media. It was a very different time of not knowing enough because there was not the information as there is now. Unfortunately, I then ended up having a third cancer of breast cancer in 2014. I'm in my late 40s. It was from the mantle radiation that I had. Found out that that's a typical thing that happens with Hodgkin's lymphoma um, patients. They didn't know back then what the radiation would do many years later, 25 years later. With that, I had double mastectomy, and I had chemotherapy at that time again. Lost my hair, eyelashes, everything. But I had all the information on the internet and social media and had a lot of people that I could then be involved with talking to. Very different. Unfortunately for me, with my double mastectomy and reconstruction, the reconstruction failed. And I had infection after infection after infection. The infections actually end up being worse than the cancer itself. Um, I've told this story a lot, but it's one of the things that is, um, makes me, is that I end up having to remove both my Im implants and I had no choice but to go flat. It's been a hard process. I embrace some of it, some of it I'm not, you know, I'm trying to find that beautiful self. <laughs> it's hard because your sexuality is a lot, I know it's in the brain, but it's a lot of your body and um, working on it. I've always been an artist and I talk about this often because I say my art is therapy and therapy is art. When I was first diagnosed when I was young, again, I didn't have the outlets of getting my anger out. So I would draw these huge black and black charcoal, very messy, very angry pieces of artwork. And then it progressed as, as I progressed and they changed and later on with my breast cancer, it became about sexuality and about body image and sensuality and just finding that beautiful medium and now I do a lot more of drawings that are, they're not angry. They are a lot of energy to them. And I've done a lot of commissions for women that also have gone through breast cancer and body changes. I had one woman that this kind of knocked me off my feet. She wanted to see me draw her so she could see herself. And that was really super important. So yes, my art, I've always been an artist and my art has been my, my everything. So it's something I do every day. I think people don't understand what kind of happens after cancer too, is that you do find you walk a little taller, you're a little prouder, like I did this. And there's that quality that happens because of cancer. Survivorship, and then you have this group of women that you, know, you really feel bound to and you can relate to. And the more you can help, the better you feel and vice versa. It's done a lot of damage, but it's done a lot of good. I think in the beginning when I first came here, I absolutely did not know what to expect. And uh, it's brilliant. <laughs> it just hit something, the vulnerability of what I've been through. Because you don't feel beautiful. And this is an opportunity to feel beautiful. This is a wonderful opportunity. It's transformation. So 
I, I can't thank you enough for this. You let me play and have fun and be who I am and reminded me who I was and kind of poked me like, you know, no, you're in there. And I had fun with that. And then when I got a little bit to be the sweet side of me, I forget about that tenderness. And I'm like, oh, this is a beautiful moment. And very special, very special. Every one of you is just incredibly professional and special and you're deep, deep in me. So thank you.